we're going to learn ways to manipulate the mouse to be able to look around at the design that we're creating. We're going to be using right clicks, left clicks, and a couple of keyboard buttons to get all of this accomplished to look around the space. Camera controls are vital. If you don't know how to look around the work plane, you are not going to be able to build very good designs. So it's essential that you can look around the work plane using orbit by looking around every which way. We can pan moving left and right and up and down and then we can zoom in and out. So here we are. I'm heading right back into where we left off. We had these four squares placed into on the work plane. You can see work plane there. But now the real goal is how to look around the space. The first one here is to take your mouse and with the right click, if I right click this, I can now orbit around the space. I can look down below, I can look up on top, and I can twirl around as much as I want to just by having the right click down and moving the mouse around. I can scan around and see around my entire design. Now something else to notice is Tinkercad gives us a little cube up here that tells us what we're looking at. We have the top and the front are being displayed of our design. Now as I orbit around, I want you to watch this cube and see what happens to it as we go through. In fact, the cube also moves as I move this design. So now I'm looking at the bottom and the cube helps me and it helps to identify that as I turn this around. Now you can also use this cube I can click right and it shows me right. If you hover over it, it gives us little arrows so I can scoot that to the bottom. I can scoot it to the other side. Or again, you can use the orbit, which is right click on the mouse and twist this around. Now we also have a zoom function. On the mouse, we're going to be using just the little scroll bar here. When we scroll in, it zooms in. When we scroll out, it zooms out. So it's very, very easy to get things zoomed back and forth. Okay, zooming in, zooming out, using the scroll bar on the mouse. The last one here that's really helpful is to use pan. To use pan, we're going to be using the right click on the mouse, but we're also going to be using the shift key on the keyboard. Okay, so if I press shift first and then I right click on the mouse, I can pan from left to right. Okay. This is really helpful for getting into really small spaces. So if I wanted to see this space right in here, I can begin to orbit, um, but then that gets partially blocked. So here I can use pan to pan across, and then we can orbit in to be able to see that space very clearly. So just to cover that again, we have orbit, which is right click, and we can scan all the way around. We have zoom in and out. And then we have pan, which is the shift key down, right click, and then we go back and forth. And it allows us to go up and down, right and left, from a fixed point of view. So here's the task that I want you to accomplish. I want you to take the viewpoint and fill one of these cubes into the corner of our view of the window. Okay, So we're going to take and I'm going to orbit so that I am above these shapes. I'm going to zoom in ever so slightly. Let's pan up just a little bit to make sure that it's right above it. And then we're going to pan over to the right until we can have it fill that corner. By doing this, I know that you can successfully navigate all of the camera controls. And then that way you can design really good things. Camera controls are vital. If you don't know how to look around the work plane, you are not going to be able to build very good designs. So just to cover that again, we have orbit, which is right click, and we can scan all the way around. We have zoom in and out, and then we have pan, which is the shift key down, right click, and then we go back and forth. And it allows us to go up and down, right and left, from a fixed point of view. I love art. I love art. I love art. Uh, yeah. oh.